Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, grasshoppers. Let's adjust this as we were on a Zoom meeting yesterday for Anakin. C'est la vie. So it had to be a little bit lower. The microphone had to be facing him. C'est la vie. Let's get to our tournament. <clears throat> uh oh, our opponent has moved. Let's go for it. Let's play the Sicilian. Let's see if we can enable some music in the background. The problem with the uh, Streamlabs persists. I'm not sure how to get back to my main stream after I do this, but let's do it. Needless to say, I'm going to put on some random happy music. Two minutes to play this game. All right, fine. Let's see what my opponent chooses. Wow. Queen to b6 could have been a better move. What if he's going to give us... Hi guy. Said just got back home from OTB final league day. John took us five hours to finish. Oh no. That's craziness. What will we get out of this deal? Rut row. We're going to tag a couple of pawns in this... Uh, can I play this? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to be doing some serious consolidation. I like being up a pawn. Can't resist. Long diagonals weak. Knight to g4. Now we can pin the knight, right? Now we can pin the knight and we can fight for the open file like a normal person. All right, let's see if I can master Streamlabs. Some changes have been made to Streamlabs. I don't want to go back to the dashboard. I don't want the app store anymore. scene alert library yada 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 don't want that maybe if I maximize this window I'll see what I want to see nope I'm just lucky that I can uh, a guy see the chat Hi guy. said low time low time thank you <laughs> back seating always welcome the sound is not that high for me ironically I can no longer see my own stream, but I can see the chat at least. That much is true. When I was first setting up, I was unable to pop out. No, let's lock out. I could have probably played that move. Whoa! Is he getting the... He is not getting it, but he is forcing some exchanges. This looks like we might be winning a second pawn. That's annoying. Fine. We're going to have to trade some pawns. It's going to look ugly, folks. It 
is indeed going to look ugly. What in the world? Maybe I'm not losing any pawns? He did have a fork of it on me. Pawn takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. Eh. Let's worry about this later. And am I losing a pizza? I am losing a pizza. You guys. Let's go for maximum damage. Well, that was uh, somewhat helpful, but we now we have bishops opposite colors and there's no guarantee that we will actually be able to score in this position. <gasps> oh, well. See, la vie. That's what I get for worrying about my stream. Let's look at that again. What exactly went wrong in that game? Not enough coffee. Rule number one. Drugs are bad for you children. Coffee, however, is great. Ah, oh, boy. So let's see here. It didn't like Queen A3, huh? Did not like Queen A3 at all. Am I even streaming? What is going on here? I don't see myself streaming. Most recent video. Yada, yada, yada. Looking on the Twitch channel. Okay, good. At least I can see myself streaming there. We have the speech chat up. Everything is good. So in this particular position, I could have just played queen to b7, which was my original intention on queen to d2. Queen to b7, rook a b1, queen c7. And now my advantage is just going away. And he had knight to d5 straight away, winning a pawn. Yuck. Of course that was a blunder. If I try to take the queen, he takes with check, and I have no recourse but to take back. So he gave me back another move. And then how did I let my advantage slip from this huge advantage here? a4, rook a2, giving him the open file was silly. King to g7 straight away was probably best, but that enabled the trapping of my bishop, so I should have been more wary of that. c5 straight away, indeed. That would have won the pawn on b5. Then I lose a piece. Then he doesn't take the piece with g3. I figured I could survive that. Then here, I really did not see the danger to my king or anything. G5 was best. Don't know that I would have found that one. All right, we're back to the tournament. Hopefully we'll get more participants as we started the stream earlier today. We have a full month of travel coming up. Toronto, Baltimore, Chicago, Atlanta. Mother's Day weekend, good question. So now, I 
I can rename Iceland. How about that? Iceland. Reykjavik Open was great. Scored five points out of seven rounds. Couldn't have asked for a better tournament. We have a new -ish episode of the French Bishop Chess Cast coming out, plus a bonus chess cast on the Toronto Candidates Tournament review and or expectations. We'll see what happens. Let's check out our cargo versus Pat Alfo. Yesterday we had the Troll of a Lifetime tournament. The Troll of a Lifetime tournament yesterday began with the League 5 World Club Cup World Cup Group C team battle, which was really ridiculous. We were ranked tw number 26. What? Oh, I was ranked number 26 behind all of the zeros who didn't play. And the entirety of this event was my team. Of the 29 members that joined this event, they were all on my team. Can you imagine that we were all trolled into thinking this was a real event? Only one person from one other team showed up. But this is encouraging because now there is a chance. There is a chance that we will be uh, participating in real league matches. That's all I can say. If you haven't joined the dojo, we have the Master Chess Dojo, Rapid and Classical, which we're participating in today. Yeah, I know, Hagai. Can you believe that? What a troll. How was your over-the-board tournament, by the way? How did you do? Don't be afraid to post pics in the Discord of your experience. People love to see real over-the-board tournament locations. Not everybody gets Hi to guys. see them. Said I won, actually. Nice. Let's head over to our event before we uh, lose track. Go. What do we need to bring up? Knight c3. E4. D4. C4. Honestly, I don't recall what I'm supposed to be playing on the first move is white. So I'm going to play knight c3. I know I need three knight c3s. Our cargo is playing very interesting chess, to say the least. He has a chance to go into like this Gurganitsi system, which I'm not entirely positive that I like, but if I don't lose my knight, I should be happy. Let's just keep bolstering the center. And now for something completely different. craziness this is absolute and utter craziness we're just gonna keep playing normal logical solid cheese I 
And now for something completely different. D6. Ha guy. Said it was a weird one to say the least I was black and it won E4, D5, NC3, D4. After that I cooked him with central and flank assault. That is interesting. Uh-oh. Did I lose a pawn out of this deal? Oh, I can't believe that I lost a pawn out of this deal. My opponent is so slippery. Can you imagine? Let's keep bolt battening down the hatches while we're at it. Oh, we need to go for it. This looks like it should be, could be, and might be a great exchange. Check. Up. What about rook takes f7 check? King takes queen to f4 check. Or e6 check. f6, queen to g5. Hmm. Let's try that. Let's try diving in that way. Just maybe we will get something here. And we always have Bishop takes f6, or rook takes f6, followed by e7 in many cases. I think we recovered from having lost a pawn. It's official. So bishop to e5, queen takes e6, not possible. Bishop to e5, or do we play this way first? Let's play this way first, see what we can get on him. How does he defend? Bishop to e5, the pawn couldn't take because a rook f7 check and mate. But still. So now we're up an entire rook. just need to trade some pizzas. Uh-huh.
All right, fair enough. Let's continue trading. While we have been slimed by him before. We'll see what happens now. Consolidate. Possibly get a rook to the H file. Walk our king to the queen side. And where is his next check? Mm -hmm. Queen to C7. <coughs> Prevent any checks. And then we will pretend like we're walking out of this mess. Attempting to walk out of this mess. Queen to b8, queen to c7. He's got three pawns for it now. Quite messy. Go ahead, take my pawn. Pretty please. I need to put pressure on that e7 pawn in some way, shape, or form. Do want to tie down your king, get you to be a little bit more open. Our plan is to hide on the queen side and let my rook and queen do the heavy lifting. Three pawns for the piece. Three pawns for the rook, not so imposing. He wants me to play rook c7, yeah? Can I hide behind these pawns in that manner? We'll find out. Mm-hmm. 
Our car go. Always my nemesis. Always dangerous. Taking on B4 would give us a protected past, a, a very clear past pawn if I were able to take twice. But I don't want him to play queen e3 check and take on e6 and create any form of counterplay. But at the same time, I do want him to take on e6 so that I can get to the e7 pawn. Tough call. I think I've lost almost two dozen points in my last two games. This game will not make up for it by any means. Ark, no choice. What can I say? Shaken, must have. To envy, said hi. And to envy, thanks for following. For something completely different. Can I? Check, check, check. I don't know, but we're going to find out. He wanted me to play Rook H3. To Envy said any tips for OTB tournament in one week and I'm quite bad to OTB compared to online. Just trying to step our way out of any danger. Now there's no more mate threat on B4. Threatening mate in a couple. Oh no, he takes with check. That doesn't work. We're definitely going to have to step our way very carefully toward hmm fair enough Raiders 
Ah, bollocks. No checks. Wow, what a miracle. That guy always has my number in my time travel. I almost always do something that allows my opponent to slime me. Five Raiders from Momo Chess. Good morning, Momo Chess. How are you? Namaste. Great to have you. You're the best. I need to give you a real shout out in just a moment. Let's give F5. We haven't caught up with F5 in our... Uh, normal run-of-the-mill. How have you been, Momo? Good to see you. Let's see. We're going to shout out Momo Chess properly. Let's see here. Are they going to reroute? Or are they going to attempt to let me take their knight on e5? Let's just play very normal chess. Relatively normal chess. Now for something completely different, g5 takes, takes, yeah, let's see what happens. Let us see what happens now. The London Bishop is gone. We have more where that came from. If our opponent's willing to open up his own king to get at us. That will be quite okay as well. Yeah, your knight is a super piece. A super piece indeed. Pawn break to the soul of chess, everyone. Where will our next pawn break come from? I guess we're about to find out. We need to roll for our white squared bishop. an official role for our white squared bishop to restrict
Oops. Maybe I miscalculated. I guess we'll find out. Make my day, I say. All right, well, if you're not gonna take that pawn now, Always have E3, just like we'll always have Paris. blockade with that you got all right fair enough you can blockade with that machine said white been studying some Steinitz games Tommy not said hi bro so he has knight d7 he always has knight d7 but are his dark squares weaker than my white squares? That is the question. So he still has... Exactly that. Tommy Noss said, could I play against you after? Uh, are you in the tournament? Absolutely, you might play against me. I believe that you can still get into the latest dojo. We're in the rapid and classical. We play a Swiss system where I play all comers within the confines of this event. And it works out pretty, pretty, pretty well most of the time. My opponent sees my threat. We will know in just a moment. But I don't think my opponent saw my threat. But maybe he did. Just maybe he did see my threat. Queen A3 check, trying to pick up a rook. Can I really get away with this? Or do I want to get away with that? B5? He does have some counterplay. Mm-hmm. He 
does have some counterplay. What could he have done? Moved his queen back? I don't know, it looked like I was winning a pizza no matter what. Somehow, I escaped with the safer queen at king after he didn't play queen to g4 check. Miracle, everyone, miracle. How was your stream? your stream was good. Can I play it this way? I'll play it this way. Wow, did he escape? That's craziness. Craziness that he escaped. Craziness. How rude. Can't believe that he escaped. Queen to b2. I'm sorry, queen to g2. Queen to b2. I think this trap still, this trick still works. I didn't think that was possible. <clears throat> Did not think that that was possible. Thought he had to play knight to b3. Queen to b3? Hallucination station. Very lucky everyone, very lucky. No danger. I'm very tactically rusty having not practiced yesterday. I spent all of my time on lesson, planning, finishing up on some chessable work. Aha, I found studio mode. No? Editor? Oh, editor is the way to go. All right, I found my way back. I can now see the stream and I don't need studio mode anymore. Estrovatio Scrivas has an amazing, an amazing collection of instructional manuals for all teachers and trainers, either published by thinkers. I'm drawing a blank on the other publisher, but he is truly amazing in his, in his content production. Every man chess. Tactical endgame play, 
other grievous titles besides pictures publishing. Mostly in the end game variety. Or is it Tinkers? Oh my gosh, what if I got it wrong? He's got pictures publishing and he's got Chess Evolution. The Chess Evolution series on uh, Mastering Rook versus Peace End Games, Mastering Queen of Peace End Games, Mastering Minor Peace End Games. And I didn't even realize it was Mastering Minor Peace End Games Part 1. Uh oh. I may be missing one. Let's take out Mastering Minor Peace End Games so that I might look it up later. I've not yet booked my hotel for Baltimore this coming Friday, so I'm in trouble. I don't know where I'm staying. Or at what price. send it shoot off a quick email just to make sure that I have a room this weekend otherwise I have to feverishly look for one Device login. Good, good, good. that was. Pin to start. Allow. See what we can do here. Oh, that's Moobot. What am I doing? Silly me. Well, at least Moobot is activated. Moobot activated. Good, good, good. Let's get a, an email out. Gats, that was a very ugly game. Let's check our stats, by the way, on our opening book, since I don't know where we stand. We should have 198 
on the Knight C3 front. I need one more E3 to bring it up to a nice rounded five, and then four A3s, three B3s, three F3s, yuck. Four G4s, a little bit of OCD kicking in as I want to round off every possible opening to five. I need a Knight H3 as well. That's crazy. Let me just take a quick note on that one while I can. Knight H3. E3. Those are the one variety. And then the two variety. We need Knight C3. We need two, and then the three variety. We need F3. I think that's it for F3. Three F3s, and then we need four A3s. G4, B4. I need three B4s. We'll get B4 in next. How about that? And A4s. Is that it? That's all we need? G4s, F3s, A3s. And we need one E3. Yeah, we can get those in. So let's finish off our E3s while we can. It's too early in the tournament to try to get. Let's keep locking down on the dark squares. We're going to follow our theme that our opponent allowed us. Whoa, that was kind of him. don't have much of a choice here as it turns out. We need to control the center. Oh, Queen H4 was no longer a threat. That's silly of me. That's craziness. That Queen H4 was no longer a threat, so I could have played Knight F3 of me. Let's just do it. Can I? No, let's just keep developing. We'll let him get a little closer now. A little bit closer now. A little bit closer now. Well, that was interesting. I'm going to give him the E3 pawn, but I get the D5 square, among other things. Whoa. All right, well, let's just keep punching. We're just going to keep punching. We have a passed pawn. It's an extra. 
Yes. Yeah, I blundered. I blundered. Should not have allowed any of this. But he didn't take advantage of it directly. He might be taking advantage of it indirectly. So what do we have here? Knight f5, g6, d5. Knight takes d5, rook takes d5. Well, if knight takes d5, I just pin, right? And we trade that way. I can even go to the seventh rank with my knight, grab the bishop pair, take advantage of the weak white squares. So d5, rook takes d5, let's put our pieces on these squares, where they belong. So d5, rook takes d5, bishop takes, d5, knight takes d5, rook to e5, yeah, yeah, we're going up to the weakened pawns. See what he's going to allow me to do. In a spot, a small spot of time trouble. Wow. Seriously. Takes. I don't have a choice. I need to know what's going to happen here. Just going to continue locking down on him.
Can I? No gegenspiel. No gegenspiel. Calypsonic. Said hello. Calypsonic. With Calypsonic, you should be from. Oh no. Okay, that was the wrong move. Right after you play it. Welcome to the dojo. I am Fide Trainer and National Master John MacArthur. So far, so good. I believe we got our last E3 in, so let's just make sure of that. Runs on, so Meneske has not come up yet. Indexing 14 other players. Usually it's far worse for the opening book. Van Kruis. Would Van Kruis be proud? So this is where I hallucinated and thought that I couldn't play my knight to h3 or a3 or e2 because I thought queen h4 check could be embarrassing. Bishop c4 was my second choice. Knight f3. Bishop d6. Perfectly reasonable. I also considered bishop d3 briefly, but it's not among the top five. g3, queen f3, it all works out. I'm down a full pawn in this position. Queen e7 is what I was expecting. And I should punch right away with d4, but instead I continue developing and then I scarf this pawn. He should have taken on e3, but for whatever reason he didn't see it. Now the advantage swings. He's got so much counterplay. So in this position, instead of instead of rook on a to e1, I should have played knight f5 straight away. Basically, I saw it only after I moved, because in this position, he has bishop d6, I felt, and that limits my knight's ability to move, because I'm hanging a pawn. And it could cripple my ability to move my kingside pawns as well. So I was torn on that note. Apparently, I'm going to still play the move knight f5 after bishop d6. In any event, I have to clobber one drive in the background because it's starting to slow me down. Yes, I'm going to be in Toronto for the last two rounds of the Candidates Tournament. And they're still not done indexing all the players. Twenty other players first. What did I do to deserve that? Twenty other players first. Title players do not take a priority. We've proven that. Or maybe that's just how far down I am on the totem pole with all the title players playing bullet at the top. I do have a lesson at 10 a.m.
by Shally. If she keeps up her pace, she is not an underdog in the Toronto Women's Chess Candidates. That much is true. By far, she is not a uh, an underdog. Hello, oh, Reza. How are we doing? All right. I can tell by my mouse that I'm no longer lacking. Anything else open that could be lagging me? Skype? Forget about it. Logitech G Hub? Don't need you at the moment. Backblaze, my backup system is running. It all looks good. Thought I heard the pitter patter of little feet. All right. We do need a Knight H3. So we've gotten in e3 and knight h3. Isn't that fascinating that the prospective moves of the d-pawn are such? But anyone with a Berserk logo should indeed get the full treatment here. Can't let that knight come in. We're going to cross our fingers that we know what we're doing. What do you think? And now for something completely different. Knight c3, knight to d2. Let's just continue on our extravagant way here. We're so far ahead in development. Can you imagine knight h3? The superior knight h3. Craziness, yeah? So does he have d4 now? I think I just take a free pawn. On d4. All right, now the moment of truth. What kind of an advantage do I get out of this? Thank you, Boo Boo. Good morning. Indeed she did. We'll centralize the best we can. Just a small threat, nothing big, nothing serious. Nothing to worry about here, folks. Nothing to see here, move along. We do need even more.
Yeah, that's a good move. That's a good move. Can I play B4? He's not castling, is he? Should I take a free pawn? Bishop E6. Knight takes h7, bishop e6. b4, queen a3, check. Let's just tuck ourselves away here. Must give up the bishop pair in order to extract themselves. So now, bishop takes c5, queen e5, queen takes c5, bishop takes, knight takes g6. Are they getting castled on the next move? That is the question. It's kind of rude if they get castled. Or is it? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not rude. We have g6. As well. All right, it's true. We have no choice in the matter. We have to try to get our bishop pair out and about. He's going to get the e5 square. Not happy about that. Now for something completely different. h5. Oops. threat. John, he had one threat. Oh. Alright, we got our last e3 in, though. That's what counts. I mean, our last knight h3 in. Knight h3. Our stats are a little bit negative, even though they were terrifically good before we played h4. h5. I didn't look at my opponent's best move. Salmon, cream cheese, capers, raw onions, black pepper. Not a bad combination here. Have I really played Knight H3 against uh, our cargo? Indexing 76 other players, but at least we at least uh, know what we have to accomplish. Let's get all of our raw onion piled back on top here. And the caper, the missing caper. We still have Nancy Drew mysteries, Hardy Boys mysteries, Sherlock Holmes. Therefore, capers are the perfect 
and gradient. Capers are the perfect ingredient to a, uh, a healthy breakfast. Tanuf plays chess. Said I won against you in this game. I'm eight years old. You can say that. Although you're using the term winning very loosely, I won uh, my of the first three points that I scored in Reykjavik, I didn't win a single game. All of my opponents lost. But it is hard for people to separate winning the game versus playing a good chess game. You played well, sir. You did see queen takes rook. If I'd have known that you're only eight, I would have played on and won the game. But because I didn't know that you're only eight, I treated you like an adult and you played well. So I resigned. Rule number one, never resign. It's one of the benefits to online chess for both uh, young and old. No one actually knows what your true age is. But keep it up. You're doing fine. You have a very decent rating. A very decent rating for eight. Mm. That was actually a clippable moment. So what did go wrong? What did you do wrong here? You have an advantage in space. That much is true. Everything is good. C5 was a little overkill. You needed to get your pieces out. Did I have a better move than knight d2? I mean, I considered C4 d4 bishop to g2 but i'm not threatening the knight because the knight on h3 is hanging so what in the world do they Hanuk think is better Said just hi, bishop I won g2 against you. I'm eight years old. <laughs> you did collect that point nicely did you hear what i said before though i hardly would ever win any chess games honestly So knight to g5. Uh, yeah, bishop h3 was probably the best move. Queen e5 check. I wasn't after any material. I was after completing my development. <laughs> they really think it's a double question mark move going from upper rook to castle and queen side. So I still have bishop h3, bishop g5, f g5, bishop e6, queen e5. Fair enough. And I still have bishop takes c5 straight away. You don't have... Knight takes g5. What was I thinking? So I let you castle. Queen takes c5, queen a4. And this position is fairly decisive. Rook to d4, probably best. Probably the move that I would play, rook to d4. I probably would not weaken my king side with my, uh, my king on the queen side with b3. 
I would more than likely play either queen to d4 or rook to d4 and prepare to double rooks. Bishop f4, e3, bishop to g2 or h3. But for whatever reason, I play h5 and I lose a rook. It's a raffle. Now we can make the YouTube video. Eight-year-old Messi. Eight-year-old Messi of chess. But at least we don't have to play knight h3 anymore. I got five of those in. Which is good. Let's see if he can make it through. I will soon not be one of your top five victories. <laughs> All these players are pretty good. Nice work. Tolfo against Ali Reza. Who is going to get Ali Reza next?
All right, we are ready. That was probably the worst display of technique in a King and Rook ending that I think I've seen in quite some time. We're going to see that one again. <clears throat> I wouldn't resign if I were Petolfo either. Ali Reza did not know how to mate with a King and a Rook. craziness. First off, let's go back to this position right here. Right here. Let's go back to this position right here. King over. Or rook to c5. Now rook to d5 for everyone who's watching. Rook to d5 is the fastest and you bring your king across. So by moving the rook far away, you give the king all of this running room. By moving the rook to d5, you limit him to this area and you're just gonna force him right in there. Literally, you are just gonna force him right in there. So after rook to d5, let's say king to f6, king to d4, king to e6, king to e4, king to f6, rook to f6, check. Let's look at this again. I don't need the engine to show you the fastest winning line. But if my opponent doesn't know how to checkmate, I actually had a 2300 not know how to checkmate with king and queen. So again here... Rook to d5 is the fastest. It says 20 moves to distance to mate, 20 moves. Basically, rook to d5, king f6, and then we just bring our king straight across. Oh, king c5 is also faster. King e6, king c6, king e7, rook to d6. And you're just walking him right into the corner. And then you just walk. Now you can do that technique. But if my opponent doesn't know how to checkmate with a king and a queen or a king and a rook, what do I need here? I don't know what I've played. I didn't look up my stats as black against e4. What do I need? Aye, aye. All right, the world deserves another Karokan. If anyone was watching the video by Jovanka Hauska, this is the number one continuation of most users. Her latest chessable book on the Carol Khan, starting out with the Carol Khan. Amazing chessable book. 
highly recommended. But of course, for study material, there is no substitute for chess and format. Please check out that link. Yeah, I should play Bishop F5. Honestly. I should just play Bishop F5. Knight takes, Queen takes. But if my opponent's not going to put his pieces on the best squares, why not? We'll see. So where are we? Wow, he just gave it up? That's crazy. I can't believe he just gave it up. Can I castle queenside? I'm going for it. Knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, and I'm forked. Wow. Let's put our queen on that side. Just to make sure that his taking on g4 is not realistically possible. This way we're going to be able to play knight to e4 on the next move. g5, f5, and we're just going to attack like crazy. What? Does the knight have any future from h4 still? I don't know. I do not know. Or does he go to e5? Nah, he can't go to e5. Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't even know what to do with this fellow now. Should we leave him right where he is? I think we should. I don't want to improve his knight in any way. I could have also played knight to E5 on the last turn. Had not, didn't really give that thought enough consideration. Knight to E5 and Knight to F3 or Bishop to F3. Fascinating. Everyone's coming in.
All of his pieces are on the first rank except for his bishop. And he can't seem to get any of them out. That's craziness. All of his pieces are on the first rank except for his bishop. And it's an overwhelming success for White against the Karl Khan once again. Overwhelming success for White against the Karo Khan once again. One could also consider this a delayed, deferred Jobaba London. Another overwhelming success for the deferred Jobaba London. Mm-hmm. So is he getting any material out? I don't know. We have to get more pawns going. That much is true. Maybe queen to f6 was a better move. But it's starting to look pretty, pretty, pretty hearty for me. Just another overwhelming, successful development victory for the Jobava London. I don't even know where to begin. G4, H4, H4, G4. Let's just keep up the pressure. Let's let him choose how he wants to develop his pieces. This could be problematic. And now for something completely different. Rook to G3, Rook to F3. All right, he's getting out of the box. It is unfortunate. Can I go that way?
Can't believe I got away with that. Wow. Really? You can do that. That's so bizarre. Well, he did blunder. Should have taken on a six check first. Time trouble rearing its ugly head. Tana plays chess. Said, is it a draw? What? Isn't that a result? Isn't that a result? Mm-hmm. Tanaf plays chess. Said okay, you will win. <laughs> I don't know about that. But I certainly know that He has more weaknesses than I do. Tanaf plays chess. Said him sewer if you don't blunder. If I don't blunder, yes. That's possibly true. <clears throat> I have too much time on my clock. Queen to D1. Tanaf plays chess. Said no. Okay. Just getting a little bit of approval there. Need to seek some exchanges. That's what I need. Let's batten down some hatches. And now for something completely different. And where is he headed? I don't know. Wow. I just have to watch out for any randomo perpetual checks, right?
Botez Gambit accepted. But I was going to promote my H pawn with check, as it turns out. Promoting my H pawn Tana with check. Chess. <laughs> yeah, you will win. No, but I don't believe in results. I believe in playing well. I'm going to say that again. Playing well is the absolute best thing that you can do. We're not here to win. This is not the important tournament that you're trying to achieve something. You're trying to coordinate your pieces for a much greater tournament. Tanaf plays chess. Said give me revenge. Give you revenge? Oh, you played Alireza? I'm just going to play chess, sir. C4 is already a little bit of a question mark move. Let's just continue. I do want to gain time on a knight on f3. And now... get all of our pieces out was I really threatening to play the move b5 I don't know so knight e4 bishop takes e7 knight takes c3 Knight e4, knight takes e4, d takes, f takes e4. e4 is a good move. Misevaluated this one just a little bit. He is so far ahead of me in development. E5, takes, if E4, then D5, Turn all right, up, moment of chess. truth. Said love your streams. Thank you, sir. We're working on it. C5, E5, not E5. So therefore, that one's ruled out. Are you in school on Monday? Yeah. You sure? I don't know that for a fact, but I'll check. Can you please check right now? I'll I can't you. check right now. I'll check in five minutes.
Knight takes and then e5. This pawn is hanging no matter what, so it looks like this is the only move. We're going for a very, very weak pawn on d6. Tanaf plays chess. Said touch piece, move piece. <laughs> I do actually done up plays chess. I actually do play that rule for the most part. Tanaf plays chess. Said illegal number one. Wow. Oh, I see. So he has a little bit of a trick involved. All right, we'll just capture. Mm-hmm. Knight takes. A knight e5. Wow, where are you headed, sir? Knight takes d6. Is that it? Is that it? That is it for me, huh? That's a little bit annoying. <clears throat> I will admit it. Tana plays chess. Said you lost or draw. <laughs> You really have to stop thinking about those results. I'm always losing my games. That is the way it goes. There is no doubt in my mind that I am always losing my games. Tanaf plays chess. Said B6. And now for something completely different. This bishop's hanging. He's trying to play knight e7, but okay. Can I play it that way? Or do I play it that way? This bishop's hanging. I think I have to capture. He captures, I capture, he captures, I capture. Tanaf plays chess. chess. Said I want revenge no matter what. Takes, takes. Oh, I see. Knight f7, takes, takes.
no matter what. You are so young, sir. You are very, 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 very young. Well, that was kind of him. Right? Wasn't that kind of him? I feel it was. Tana plays chess. Said yes. Okay. Let's pretend as though B8 equals queen. C5. Bishop to B6. C5. Queen takes C5. Queen takes D5. Takes, takes. Yeah, obviously, queen to b8, sir. Obviously. But I'm looking at options here. Options. Whether or not I like it. I wanted to try to win this game. I don't want to draw this game. I want to try to play my best possible move. Mm-hmm. I'm down a king right now. My opponent is down a king. Tana plays chess. Said believe in yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now for something completely different. Wow.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no! That's unfortunate. Wow, did I get lucky or what? He didn't take my bishop? Oh my god. That was very lucky that he didn't take my bishop. The pain said, Wow, well, what happened here? Porcupine, how are you?
Is this theoretically winnable? Um, in theory, yes. But there are a lot of draws. got the perfect position to win it. But his rook is in a terrible location. That much is true. As in Alfen Ritchie said, theoretically it is a draw, but practically it is not easy to hold for the side down the piece porcupine. All right, I actually have to think now. <clears throat> I think I'm lost. It is official. Hawk Kupain said, Is it a French accent text to speech? Hold on. So, Rook D7, King F6, Rook H7. Rook to the other side. And I'm still made it, right? So based on the probabilities, My move was the only move, even though I'm still dead lost, by the way. So it does believe it's drawn. It is theoretically I can screw up and lose, but I, as long as I don't lose, he can't win. Whew. As long as I don't lose, he cannot win. Thank God. Um, what move do I need here? A3, B4, Knight C3. As in Alfen Ritchie said, I don't even think God wants your thanks after flagging. <laughs> Arsenal fan Ritchie, how are you, bud? Arsenal fan Ritchie. You're the man. <sighs> That's crazy. 
absolutely crazy. As in Alfen Ritchie said, not bad losing a lot of online games lately, apart from that, I am okay. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I do welcome losing offline online games to losing offline games. All right, I need to check to see. Where's my school calendar? Hold the phone. Oh no, I'm supposed to be off the stream. Oops. Darn it. As in life, I'm supposed to end my stream. Said, oh yeah, I don't usually lose, but often OTB still after eight years rating, still not caught up with real strength I know. As in life, said, oh no, have a nice day. Yeah, I know, right? Hopefully my student is here. Just a minute, buddy. I will share my screen as I'm waiting for an opponent to not show up. I'm crossing my fingers. I actually don't mind if they don't show up. But I had a, a really, really long game with Rook and Bishop versus Rook where I had the Rook and I could only hope to draw if I don't mess up. It was crazy, sir. And I managed to win the game on time because uh, I had a ruck. Said still streaming Master Chess Dojo. Yes, I am still streaming. Uh, I don't think my student can hear you. But I'm waiting for this game to end so that I can end this thing. By the way, you should already be in this tournament. I'm going to copy this link address. And send it to him in his chat. He's not already following me. Let's find out. That's the event in the in the Zoom chat. Sorry for the delay. In fact, when I ended my game, I was so shocked that I won the game that when I left, I couldn't. I was already paired for another game, and that was this game. So I think I actually ended around 10:20 ish, 10:21, the game that never ended. And I don't mind if this opponent doesn't show up, to be honest. I really don't. <laughs> Even though I love Petolfo, it's time for Petolfo. Why is he not residing? I just wanted to bother him. <laughs> that was his last quote over there on the side. Why is he not resigning? Not only am I not resigning, my opponent jettisons the game and loses. All right, I'm almost free. Let me see where I'm sending my stream real quick. Uh, Road to GM 3000, James Blunder, Jesse. Jesse February is playing live chess over the board in the South African Closed Championship 2024. So, GM Hans Neiman. He's got Zefcat streaming his game live. Nice. How cute is that? You're live streaming on Twitch. All right. Back to tournament. Withdraw. I only have a point, a half a point lead. Sorry, Shay. One second. Let's get rid of this. And we're going to raid GM Hans Neiman. How about that? Everybody will love that. How often do you get to raid Hans Neiman? Throw up our ending credits for all of you who followed during the stream real quick. 
No, I was supposed to start my lesson a little early today, and then I had the game that never ended starting at just before 10 o'clock, and I didn't even realize how long that game was going to go. User that games are much better. Thank you for the raid, Momo Chess. Cheers and ciao, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Arsenal fan Richie, talk to you soon, buddy.